In today's lunch break, simple Italian dish at home, Chef Gianni Delici is here from Lincoln Park, Trattoria Gianni, which is celebrating 25 years. Congratulations for that. And we are Thank celebrating you. Sicily, I think, in our dishes that we're making today. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're using an eggplant, which is easy and very healthy, very, very easy to make. And I can show you how it's made, actually. It's something that we grow in Sicily very, very much. Oh, yes. My grandmother used to make eggplants all the time. Do it like this. Do eggplant parmesan. Yes. So you can cut them like a quarter of an inch, mm -hmm. brush it up with a little bit Leave of olive oil. Leave the skin oil. right on oh, there. Yes, on it. yes, yes, yes. A little bit of olive oil. Both sides. Put them on the grill. Let it grill it for the It's on there, that That's nice flavor. Mark. Very simple and easy. So you can put them in a pan. A little saute pan, actually, with a little bit of house-made tomato sauce that we make it at the restaurant. But if you don't have enough time to make it at home, you can just buy a good quality jar of tomato sauce. We'll do the job as well. Okay. So then we use... A homemade is yes. oh, Cooking from the moment you absolutely. wake up in the morning, right? <laughs> absolutely. So some goat cheese. A little bit of goat cheese on both sides. And also, what we use is the Kalamata olive, actually. The Kalamata olive with the sweetness of the olive, right. which is great. Now, you and add the cheese take... in there when it's still over the heat? Yes. Okay, because you were taking it back yes. and forth. I wasn't sure. a little sure. bit over the heat, and then a little bit of cheese like this. And then you can put it back in the oven, actually. Put it, yes, put it back there so the cheese will melt a little bit, and it spreads all over the eggplant. Okay. So you can keep for like two and a half to two minutes inside the oven. Mm-hmm. And once it's done in the oven... We can dish them right out, and that's oh, what it looks like. Oh, there it is. It's that beautiful. Delicious and healthy. Very easy to digest, especially the goat cheese. That's the wonderful thing, is this is truly a very yes. healthy meal. And the next one is not so bad for us either. We're doing a little pasta with some seafood. Yes, what we're doing is we're doing uh, linguine portofino. It's uh, linguine with scampi and shrimps. Very easy and healthy to make. Let me show you how to make this one, too. Okay. So a little bit of garlic, actually, just some garlic, some olive oil, olive oil is delicious, that's about an ounce and a half of olive oil, mm -hmm. let it simmer a little bit, then we have a scampi of scallops, let it cook, don't let it get brown it, let it, let it turn it, this will get bitter, turn around a little bit, okay. like that, once it turns a little bit, then you start putting the scallops, Scallops, which is a very, shrimp. very healthy dish. Very healthy dish. It doesn't take that many ingredients to make. A little bit of pinch of salt. Let's get some cherry tomatoes. Always use a nice juicy cherry tomato. So oh, we can cut them. Yeah, well. yes, 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 nice yes. So we can cut them in half like this. Cut them. Put them together, wonderful. Oh, I think it's nice for oh, this time absolutely. of year, yes, especially. Yes, it's because, a little yes. bit lighter. Well, we're trying, what we're trying to focus on is the seasonal vegetable, actually, the, mm -hmm. that's the, which is the highlight of our menu, which is nice and simple. Right now, we have beautiful tomatoes, so yeah. heirloom tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, and uh, many, many, many other, like a zucchini squash, and, uh, and many other things. Put a little touch of red, red flakes, actually. Of course. Red okay. chili flakes, yes, yes. And we're we'll experimenting. And in the meanwhile, you can cook your pasta, and the pasta always cook it in, well, follow the directions from the box, actually, which will take from 8 to 10 minutes. But we like to have it nice and ardente, right. beautiful and ardente And then you pasta. add that yes. in the yeah. pan, correct? Yes, yes. Let you cook it, let it simmer a little bit, then you add the... In the dish. interest of time, we don't have the time to let yes, this yes, cook yes, off, yes, but yes, you'll yes. add but the pasta cooking, in. Yes, here is cooking, then you can, like, you know, once you see that it's almost all cooked, mm -hmm. you actually can strain it, yes, and... And put it back. Add it right in there to get yes, all those yes, flavors little together, little blended. Yes, yes, little bit of the water as well. Yes, yes, with the olive oil. You turn them, turn them, turn them, turn them all together. I'm going to pull in. this dish because you've got the finished product over here, and I oh, want to take yes, a yes, yes, picture yes. of it because it looks so delicious before yes, just turning, turning. I that, tell that's, people, can you get a shot of it from here? Yes. Folks, how about yes. that? Yes. Um, Chef Johnny, thank you so much. Um, slash midday, they're celebrating the 25th anniversary the entire month of June, and there's a special, a $25 prefix menu, as well as select bottles of wine for only 25 bucks. How about that? The restaurant is at .com, or again, we'll link you right there from our website. Thank you so much. Thank you.